<laughs> you just let me know when. Ring your bell. Gentlemen, welcome to the Tuesday program. We are going to start off with a rousing number under the direction of our music. Number 25 is their honor of December 25. That is beginning to look a lot like Christmas. Yes, man. Uh, Reggie. So, uh, <laughs> like the five and ten? Yeah. That was a five and ten right there on the corner of Peach and Lacey. Cool. Wow. Many decades ago. Uh, yes, uh, yes. I, did. I grew up now, in Chicago. Now, I remember one thing there, but it's too many things. Right. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, who you please? Chicago? That's my hometown. Oh, good. We're, We're homies. I didn't so, know that. <laughs> so now, will you please join me in our I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and the Republic of the Republic, which stands one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now, please join in meditation or prayer as you choose as I say, bless this food to our use and us to thy service. Amen. Uh, now, do we have any guests other than Bill Murphy? Where did he go? <laughs> <laughs> He's hiding <laughs> over in the corner. He's in the corner. line. All right, lunch is on, folks. Oh, Hope please. you're hungry. I didn't know you lived in Chicago. Well, yeah, from about age, what, three Darn until it. like 12? What years? So 1959 to 16. What? <laughs> what was, when was Kennedy assassinated? All right. I was still in Chicago at that point. Yeah. So something like that. So so where were you? Where were you? Oh, I was on the north side. Of course, you were white. Around Devon and Western. Then I grew up in a Jewish neighborhood. Best delicatessen I've ever Bank. seen. Not like New York, Vegas. Right here. Right. <laughs> but I grew up in um, Elk Hill Garden. Far south side it. housing project. Okay. Where Obama did his community work. Ah, that's right. Oh, for many years in the house my mother was born in. Inglewood, right. um, the murder capital of the U.S. <laughs> I'm right here. Right? How many cards you get? Five okay. maps. We got seven. Five dollars. I got seven cards. Seven to make six. <laughs> it's four for two for five. Three for two. Look, it would be like, two, hey, if, five, you, two. if you can get a two for one deal, five dollars for two things. If somebody says you can have Look, three things for twenty dollars. Which would you do? <laughs> I have to have my calculator. <laughs> okay. No, so, I don't think we'll have any. Uh, uh, you know, I, uh, Graham is on the road. I think Graham yeah. sent me an email this morning. So I don't, I don't know what's going on. I think we're just you know, recording the meeting. I don't have the exact, but yes. Okay. Got it. 
Okay. Uh, thank you. Okay, so everyone so is sure uh, uh, food tips and retirement and party for my coach. And everything. Oh, same that. Yeah. You know, it's food prices have gone up. Yes, it's, 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 it's the days of the days of the yeah. thirty-five. There's two other things. I won't say gone, but that, they're that would fewer be and farther between. One and a half. So, um, I and I hope everyone be sure be on the lookout for that sign up sheet. Uh, let's see here. Now, wait. Um, oh, Bill Murphy. Now, what the um, uh, so this brings us to a very important uh, uh, year end mm, administrative matter that we all need we need to focus on, uh, and that is who is going to have the pleasure of standing up here next year as president oh. of the club. So, um, Al Paschal. Uh, was our pe president elect, as I think most of you know. Uh, he had the good fortune to A, earn a promotion, and B, he is starting a business. And so he doesn't feel he's going to have time. He will continue as a member of the club. Um, so uh, we need, the, we're going to convene a committee. Bill Murphy has been kind enough to uh, to head up the committee, and all past presidents are eligible to serve on this nominating committee. As Bill said, please call him before he calls you. <laughs> so, um, and he will. Uh, there will be a meeting or something like that, but he he'll be in touch by email. Yeah. And do you want me to pass around a sign up? Yeah, if anybody would like to, to, you know, past president would like to kind of volunteer to help out with the search. I mean, you know, quite a few of us are past presidents. So I'll take like half the club. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 It's okay. Block <laughs> letters and we're done. <laughs> uh, but if not, I would like to, to have as much help as possible to get as many ideas as we can. And, once I have a better feel for it, I'll, I'll make some calls and send them out of the wall. Okay, very good. Um, so uh, I'll make that. I'll make up a list and and pass it around. Now uh, I've been reading. Is is it Mr. Bell? Oh yes. All right. Would you please give us that? Uh, give us an announcement. Our own Christmas elf, Bill Penny. <laughs> Wouldn't like a word. There's some history associated with this. About eight years ago, Bill Stram, more than that, ten years <laughs> ago, ten years ago, Bill Stram <laughs> came to me and said, "Bill, I would like you to um, organize the Salvation Army bell ringing uh, for the club." And Bill, being a good friend, I couldn't turn it down. I said yes. But I've been doing this for nine years now. And the reason I keep doing it is the club is so supportive in signing up. We have a few slots left. We even have some people who have volunteered to do double duty. Bill Murphy's doing two sessions. Libby's doing two sessions. Right. And some people are, have not signed up at all. <laughs> uh, Jackie told me she wasn't going to sign up. <laughs> I, I think it's a family thing. <laughs> now there's a few slots left, but there's a very critical one that I I just can't let us leave today without filling it, and that's this Saturday, and we're bell ringing on Thursdays, Fridays, and Saturdays. This week, the following week, and the following week, three weeks in a row. But we don't have a person for Saturday at two o'clock. <laughs> See me at the door, you <laughs> don't. <laughs> oh, thank, you. <laughs> thank you, John. I have a note. I have announced the uh, yeah. the Christmas music concert. Oh, that, that counts. Yeah, that's a good excuse. But but you'll be back. I hope. 
Thank okay. you, Jim. Um, and actually, that that will be only one of the, if you will, work crews uh, out the ringers uh, will will only be one group of Rotarians working on Saturday. The other one will begin at, is going to be tending to the caboose. And they give us a little bit more. Uh, Stan or Stan or Chuck. Stan, go ahead. If I have anything to add, I'll add. It. Okay. Uh -huh. All right. The service project is for uh, the caboose. I can, uh, but to be said, um, Saturday morning, nine o'clock. What we want to do is try and paint the uh, walkway? walkway on top of the caboose itself. Ooh, um, ooh. Yeah, it's it, it'll be easy. That's dangerous. That's fourteen feet ahead. So we just need a few volunteers. Uh, we have a few guys coming, people coming down. And uh, if you'd like to volunteer, just come on down Saturday. You have to sign them sheets. Come on down. And Saturday morning, 9 o'clock, the weather should be good. If it's not, if it's raining, obviously it'll be canceled because they're going to be painting. So uh, it shouldn't be, it shouldn't, it shouldn't take long. If we have enough people, it should, you know, we, we'll fly through this thing. Um, many hands make less work and all that. So uh, Saturday morning, uh, for, uh, Actually, nine thirty. Nine o'clock. Oh, nine thirty. Nine thirty. There you go. Nine thirty. Right, nine thirty. And that's that's even shorter time. Now. All right. So, uh, nine thirty Saturday morning. Come on down to the caboose. Everybody knows where it is by the museum. All right. We'll be there. We're built. Yay! All right. Oh, yeah. I got an announcement. Yes, please. The, uh, on Sunday, this coming Sunday afternoon at four p.m. at the Palace Theater, there's a Christmas music concert that's free. Uh, it will feature several soloists who are very good, and uh, the new K. Charles Community Choir, I think it's called, which Chip Miller and yours truly are in. Wearing outfit? No. Tell it. Uh, so uh, that time and date again. Sunday? Did you this say? coming Sunday at four, the fourth at uh, four p.m. 4 p.m. Second Sunday, so not this coming uh, Sunday. Next so will be the first. Be the no. So fourth. 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 Sunday yeah. is the fourth of December. Sunday is the fourth of December. Yeah. yeah. At 4 p.m. Yes. Four at four. Got it. Okay. Good. 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 I can be trained. Um, I do. I I would like. Um. <laughs> Just to acknowledge, Medi had Medi sent something that she wanted. Um, I think read, and uh, or I, I wasn't sure. It, it, at any rate, she's not here. But I know what it was about, and we'll we'll come back to it next uh, next week. You know, the longer form. But um, I, the the kind of the hidden group, uh, the one that doesn't get. Uh, uh, isn't actively recruiting all the time, but is just has been constantly working away. Uh, is this invisible history room, and uh, it's kind of all coming to a head. I think is is that a fair description? By the end of the year, by December thirty first, we have to have committed, have to spent essentially all of the grant money. Which means, and since some of the grant money is for actually the promotional pieces, um, which are kind of the last to come together, the, the, the whole thing could be ready to launch, not to, I mean, sometime during the winter. Is, it, is that still the hope? Yes, yeah, so a soft launch after the end of the year, sometime uh -huh. in February, and then a full launch during the spring, perhaps with, uh, you know, another organization that we know well that does something special. So good. we'll talk about that. Good. Probably Rosenbaum. Who knows? It's in negotiation, right? We <laughs> 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 forgot. <laughs> Put it on page one. <laughs> I don't believe I'm going to put any names after it. Doesn't it? 
<laughs> Nobody dares you tell anything for fear it'll be published. <laughs> um, and, uh, and there's another uh, uh, there's another effort which we're hoping to um, which there's an organ I'll just fill you in on an organizational meeting that's going to occur tomorrow at at Kate Charles Christian School. Uh, it's going, Libby Dennis and I, maybe Stan, uh, are going to be going down to um, uh, to get all of the details about a recycling program that they want us to sponsor. The, uh, the, the program is essentially a challenge. Uh, they will have six months to, raise, to collect 500 pounds of plastic shopping bags. They will take them to the uh, to Food Lion where they will be weighed. And if they, uh, if they collect all 500 pounds, then they will get from a, a, a company called Nextrex, I think, uh, a, plastic, a plastic bench made of recycled plastic. They have already won one bench. Mm -hmm. They did this uh, through, I guess, through the summer and the fall, and uh, under uh, and uh, and they collected five hundred pounds, and they they got a uh, their own bench. the 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 rub here is that the company that's that created this challenge and that supplies the bench will not permit schools to register. So when they did it the first time, they were sponsored by the Daughters of the American Revolution. And the DAR also, members also collected some of the 500 pounds. Now that the DAR is, those members are kind of revved up and they're collecting their bags. And so um, when in the second go around, we, they'll be sponsored by, uh, the, the school will be sponsored by us, but the bags are going to be collected by, uh, hopefully by us, mainly by the school, and also by the people in the DAR. So there's this wonderful snowball effect. Um, so we'll have, we'll have more details tomorrow. Um, Libby was kind enough to volunteer and is an avid recycler and... Uh, and former policy advocate, right? Wouldn't that your so yes, you yes. you've always you you're 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 expert at the uh, view from the thirty thousand feet. Okay. And okay, good. So um, that is it. Is there? Oh yes. One thing I forgot. On that list, there should be a column for allergies. Oh. If you are allergic to seafood or any of those things, please. Okay. Did anyone has anyone here signed? All okay, right. I got a challenge. You. You're the top. That's okay. Yeah. yeah. Oh, you oh, take yeah. that oh, and you get it. <laughs> I went around this table. Yes, yeah, you went around this table. It's been around this table. Oh, it's been around the table. Yeah. Any other allergies? Allergies. Okay. allergies? There needs to be a third column there that says allergies. Does anyone, anyone have allergies that they, uh, the you know, other than to one or the other political no. party? Those don't count. <laughs> okay. All right. Thank you. <laughs> now, I believe, are there any other, uh, any other uh, announcements for the good of the order? Ladies and gentlemen, I apologize, we have no speaker today. So guess what? Everyone gets out of school early. Oh. <laughs> um, well, yes. Look at that sign on that yellow sheet of paper. Did it go to every table? You people just haphazardly do things here. Not <laughs> Wait, you people, you, you are a real <laughs> 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 we tried. We tried. I think for a donut. More, that gives us more time <laughs> to sign up. Yeah. We have time to sign up before you go home. <laughs> All right. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, service above bye self. Bye -bye. Bye -bye. Bye -bye.
you. <laughs> okay, all right. Well, grab your cards. Come on up. Will everyone please look at their cards and hold up their highest card, Jack of Clubs? Can anyone beat the Jack of Clubs? King of Spades. King of Spades. King of Spades. King of Spades. To shoot one of them. No, no, no. Someone's cheating. Spades. 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 All right. All right. All right. So, so, come on so, up. So, uh, just leave them in the, so, uh, on the table. Let's see. They'll be collected. <laughs> Reggie. Reggie, you win ten dollars from the pot for today. Okay. Uh, as your as your winnings, and then you get to choose a card from the deck. And if it's the Queen of Hearts, you get the pot. Oh, the big which pot. is how much? Hold how the cards it up. Hold on. Estimate. <laughs> thirty bucks. So, uh, okay. Twenty-five bucks. Oh. What's got another ace? <laughs> okay, give me this. Car, we're this one here is destroyed. City. If I can destroy it, it's a plastic <laughs> Oh, it's a plastic Ten dollars going to the happy dollar. You're going to make that one. Happy dollar. <laughs> Donate your money back, but it's a very nice goodwill. Game. All right. Let's recap. Uh, would, you, Pat, would you explain the first round? First round is that um, the whole thing is the dollars, but it's a dollar, you get one card. Two dollars, you get three cards. And five dollars, we had seven. There's controversy on the seven, but <laughs> it's that way it goes. <laughs> Everybody turn the cards up? Yeah. Okay. So, but then you take the, those cards, that's your, your hand. You're buying the cards in your hand. And the high card. The high card you display. And then we just compare. And the highest card uh the of all those shown qualifies the the holder for the second round of the draw. Also, you get a fourth of the money collected that day. Oh, okay, right. A for just of, having the high card, that gets you one quarter of the money collected that day. Half the money collected that day goes into to the club. It's just money, profit for the club. Okay. And the other, the other quarter goes into the pot. Which... And and which so builds for the right. Queen of Hearts. So so the drawing, the second round is a drawing from uh from a second deck of cards, and the and the goal is to cut to pull the Queen of Hearts. Right. If you do, you will win the pot, which right now is twenty five bucks or so. But it's going to grow at the current pace. It's going to grow at about fifteen dollars every time that someone fails to draw the queen. So it'll get pretty big. I mean, yeah, it's been well over, over $100. It's been a, well over $100 in the past. Yeah. Give a half of the pot to the club. The club needs the money. This is a game. This is a club. Can you play this? It's a good way the game was played for several years. No, I don't you The ball comes in. I would have wanted to be seven. But you're wading into an extraordinarily muddy water. You start it, man. All right. Is you saw how many aces and Jackie's go, oh, for it. Yeah. The deck was completely empty. All right. And this is a small group, we're only 19. We have 25 people. You're going to go into a second deck. There's going to be another ace of spades oh. in that. So just yeah, be ready. Just saying, 
be ready to play. Well, they are Russell. Yeah. Well, no. What we thought we'd do, we we would just take take a little set of cards. Take a set of cards. Draw, oh. Each draw is one. You have high power wins. That's right. I think I've learned the secret of winning this. If you end up with the ace of spades like Reggie did. Collect Nobody. the winnings and then take that card and stick it. Yeah, in you pocket. don't want to show it. Get <laughs> <laughs> you in your pocket and bring it the next week. <laughs> oh, no, oh, no. Oh, Wait, uh, far, yes, that's right. Is it the truth? Is it very concerned? Uh, so that means you can see it's not a big group. It's only nineteen or twenty people. There'll be a winner. Every week, there will there isn't going to be you know one week that somebody like mine is if you're not here you don't win but here everybody wins yeah which somebody's going to win which is better yeah. I'm not playing in it <laughs> like, who you cares the okay. pot gets to be two hundred dollars oh I'm sorry um, John and then say the pot is going to ground small and just sit on the ground and come down and we're going to break the streak I'm bringing donuts for Jackie next week. <laughs> when we first come in, the cards and should be else. all uh, on the table and you pick your I'm own. Not sure. right, well, that, not that work. What happened is that last time I was over there and it was difficult. So I was saying when everybody comes in, I just feel but I think it'll be easier if you pick your own because you feel better. I think so. I, I have no problem with that. We're, we're, <laughs> we're still defining the presentation. All right. Anything else for the good in the order? When will you please stand and for the rotary pledge? Is it the truth? Is it fair and all concerned? Will it be beneficial at all concerned? And oh, and Stan, well, we have fun. And by the way, be, because this club is doing so many things and has had so many announcements, it's one o'clock. Oh, Thank good. you. Go, service above self, and congratulations, guys and ladies. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I like the I have to take a while. Yeah. All right. I'm going to have a good night by me.